John. Yes. What are we doing here? <laughs> this is your sales training. Sales training, okay. So today you show me this video, don't mention who it's from, right? Well, those, but, are, those other little fuckers. <laughs> So, we, so you showed me this video where there was this flex test to try and show the honest way of um, testing the, well, the, the stiffness of a pole and bring on the argument was the, kind of like the line, right? The, the video that the customer sent me that they couldn't figure out how it was working. Right. So they here we go. Right. Um, what I need to do, I'm going to show you how this works and what they did. And so let's have a look at it this. Here, um, well, I'm just going to tell you, like, make up your own mind which pole is more rigid. Looking at this, it's, this pole would be more rigid than this pole. Yeah, because it's up higher, right? So what is this? What are the two poles? Is, huh. Which? What are the brands of the two poles? Are they the same pole or are they two different? No, poles? actually, identical poles. Zero. Zero. Come, come, come. Come on. Come on through. This is zero, everybody. Hello. <laughs> 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 no, you're fine. But if they're two identical poles, this then why is one here, lower than the other? This brush here is bigger than this brush. Right. So surely this pole is going to be down lower than this okay, pole. Okay, so, so, so let's swap them out. You take that one off. I'll pass you this one. That goes to there. Oh, you put it in yours and I'll put it in mine. <laughs> Whatever the other way around. Look, this is going to come up, right? Swap. Oh, Jesus. All right. So now, so which now, pole should you buy? Well, I think you should buy this pole, right? Because this, this pole wasn't. This pole was more rigid than that pole before. Right. So we're not talking about like it's just another flawed test, and unfortunately, it's deceptive. And unfortunately, I actually think that WCR do a fantastic job in in helping the community and, uh, and they, we, we teamed up with them at the beginning because of their commitment to adding value to customers. But when they start bullshitting like this, um, then unfortunately I've got to take some time and I've got to teach my guys what the hell's going on so that we can explain what's actually happening is the weight of the brush. So if we put a, um, a heavier brush, so the bottom line is we put constructor brush on our brushes, maybe, where did we put the constructor oh, yeah. brush? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I'll bring constructor brush out and show the difference. Yeah, there's a real reason for constructor brush because we we have the only brush, the big one, the 16. We have the only brush that can on glass rinse. So most there's, there's two things. The reason why one brand will put a smaller brush on is because the floppier the pole to make is the pole look more rigid. to make the pole look more rigid. The floppier the pole, the harder it is to control. If you yeah. put a, a lighter, if you look at the Gardner brushes, they're all the, they're super light brushes. But Why? Because they've got CLX and SLX and they've got these hybrids and fiberglass poles that are floppy, but you can't feel the flop as much. If you put a heavy weight on them, the things would bend to the ground, right? You've seen us do that in our testing. So take this one off here and then put a constructor 16 on and we can oh okay so there goes a 16 with a 16 unger and um, constructor brush with hydro blade fitted mind you have a look at that how beautiful that is these haven't got any plumbing this is fully plumbed and this is not plumbed at all so this will still be heavier again and I just want to do this you want to put this one? Oh, no, I want them separated. You want to? And we'll change them over. Change the brush. Oh, yeah. Change the brush. Because that looked like a little bit just because okay. that brush looked like it was sitting on this brush. It did. So some would argue that our brush was actually pushing these down. Okay. Look at that. Oh. Okay. So this is the essence of, you know, which, so which pole, oh. Damn, this you've got to buy the Richard, right? To buy the Richard, it's the most rigid pole. So let's come down the other end. I want to show you something else that happens at the other end, right? So follow me. Now this one is every time, like these boys took time to build a stand to set up that test. And the same, I found JRC did the same when we were at like IWCA. They, IWC where the they put they put two the they put other. two steps in here and they put the reach it on a higher step in here. So yes. the the gardener was low and the reach it was higher. So they set it off at a different angle and made the gardener look 
those if it was different. The same yep. with WCR. We I don't know what's that. underneath there, but if they've got even a, a piece of 4x2 or something like that under there and they just step one up, then they can make it look more rigid. Okay. Like one inch, half an inch here drastically changes what happens 40, 40 feet away. Neat. Now I've also saw it at IWCA, they had the gardener higher, just this much, but the gardener was set higher and the reach it was set lower yeah, that was at that point in, the, in that little blue thing yeah. wrapping around it. So they had the reach it higher here and lower here, the gardener lower here and higher here and trying to make out that. Now the reality is the two poles, I, I, my, my thinking is probably the gardener extreme and the reach it pro are probably pretty similar poles made of the same materials. The reason why somebody would um, buy a reach it, we hope, is because we're so committed to the efficiency of the worker. And secondly, these brushes here, you've got to take off the glass to rinse, so you've got to separate. You've got to wet the glass, agitate the glass, then rinse the glass off the glass. And if it's hydrophobic glass, it's like a really difficult job. With reach it and constructor, and hydroblade now, then there's no wetting up the glass, it's agitate on the upstroke, rinse on the downstroke, agitate, rinse, agitate, rinse, and off. So we know it's two, three, four, five, six, seven times faster to use a reach it than the other poles. And the rigidity is, you know, there's a limit to what we can do by the composition of the carbon fiber, and we're all buying carbon fiber from the same place. Same country. Same country. <laughs> Worldwide, no well, that's the thing, say. like the zero, I mean, I will say, like, that zero pole is from Singbo factory, like, I showed you the clamps, the clamps are the same, you can find them on Singbo Composites or CarbonFiber.com or something like that, they're exactly the same pole, out of a Chinese factory, there's no relationship, there's no engineering, there's no turning up. I'll put a video out about how a carbon fiber pole is made in the next 24 hours. Alright, so there it is, so this now you know. Plumbed up though, so if this this would be actually lower, up, it'd yeah, actually be it'd be lower, lower. It'd yeah. have more weight in it. So that that would so, make that pole look less rigid. Less rigid, and yet they're both pole. they're identical poles. So that's the thing. Like guys, um, don't be fooled. It's bullshit. It's the flawed tests. They know they're flawed. There's only one genuine test, but I wouldn't even trust them with that if they'd throw a piece of lead in the middle of, of, of a pole and make a bullshit test that looks real, you know. In my opinion, unfortunately, that they've made this is the fourth flawed test that they've put online to bag out reach it. And you know, I'm just gonna answer every one of them, you know, with something that helps the rest of you understand that it's BS, you know. So um how about we answer them at the next show we go to and do a test with all the poles, with yeah. all, we challenge them to do a test with all the poles, with the weight in the middle. I can tell you that they could, you know, we would have to do it with the highest pole that we could make all of us because otherwise they'll bring a I higher pole and tell a lie. Right. Turn up. No, <laughs> that's possible. Anyway, Johnny, this is your sales training. Okay. Um, feel confident that you can continue to sell reach it as much as you are, like it's crazy right now. But um, you are selling a fantastic product and uh, and uh, don't be, uh, don't be uh, tricked and make sure we can persuade people, send this video to people who have seen that bullshit oh, test. Yeah. Alright buddy? Yeah. Signing out, sales 101, reach it. That's why professionals buy reach it.